So, Brooke, in case people haven't clued in yet, we're both very vocal, outspoken people. We got a lot of thoughts, and everyone's going to hear about them, which it's a blessing, but it's also occasionally a curse. It is a curse, but you know what? That's how we bring home the bacon, you know? Yep. What are you going to do? Yep. Bring it home and fry it up. (laughs) But (laughs) But sometimes you just have to say what's on your mind, you know? Consequences can just choke. Who cares? Which is exactly how Billy Porter is approaching his life. And now he's so pissed that he's not only coming for an icon in the world of fashion, he's also coming for one of the biggest pop stars in the world. Yeah, Billy definitely isn't holding back. He's being brutally honest. So buckle up, Richies. You yeah. love it. <laughs> Welcome to Monday. From yeah. Wondery, I'm Arisha Skidmore Williams. And I'm Brooke Ziffrin. It's Monday, August 14th. And you're listening to Rich and Daily. Billy Porter is an Emmy, Tony, and Grammy winning actor. Just waiting on that yeah. O. Um, uh-huh. And A. All about yeah, the Ambies. Well, <laughs> Ambies are hard to win. We've learned that. I know. They are so hard to win. <laughs> Harder than an Oscar, if we're being honest. Yeah, um, yeah. But he can sing. He can dance. He can act. But he doesn't just shine when he's performing. He also knows how to turn heads on the red carpet like he did at the 2019 Oscars. He showed up in a gender-bending tuxedo ball gown, and it was that appearance that branded him as one of the biggest fashion icons in the LGBTQ plus community. But now in a new interview, Billy's turning the tables and taking digs at the fashion world and throwing a lot of shade at Vogue magazine. Yeah. So on Friday, Billy spoke to the UK outlet, The Telegraph, and he complained about Vogue putting Harry Styles on the cover in 2020. And that was the first time American Vogue put a man on the cover by himself. So it was a pretty big deal at the time. And Mm -hmm. in the photo spread, Harry went against gender norms by wearing skirts and jewelry, which is something Billy had also gotten a lot of attention for. Yeah. And when the issue landed, a lot of people praised Harry and Vogue for its fashion forward approach. But now Billy is saying that he's pissed that Vogue chose Harry to wear those clothes on the cover. And he said, it's not Harry Styles' fault that he happens to be white and cute and straight and fit into the infrastructure that way. I call out the gatekeepers. Um, But Billy did call out Harry slightly and he said Mm -hmm. it doesn't feel good to me you're using my community or your people are using my community to elevate you you haven't had to sacrifice anything and we've talked about this before Richie's it is worth noting that Harry has never commented uh, publicly on his sexual orientation he's only ever romantically been connected to women so yeah well Harry was the one I don't know if we did a whole episode on this but we talked about um, being accused of queer baiting, where it's just yeah, yeah, yeah we did. That's that's been something that's kind of swirled around his head a little bit. Um, uh huh. But regarding those gatekeepers that Billy is calling out, he seems to be zeroing in on one of the most powerful people in fashion, Vogue's editor in chief, Anna Winter. Billy says he actually met with Anna before Harry's cover issue hit the stands, and now he's got some choice words for her. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Billy did not pull any punches here, honestly. I love it. Um, He said, (laughs) that bitch said to me at the end of our conversation, how can we do better? And Mm. Billy said he was so taken off guard by the question that he didn't really say what he wanted to say, which was that he wants Vogue to use their power to uplift the voices of the leaders in the degendering fashion movement. Um, And then Billy pointed out that six months later, Harry Styles was the first man on the cover. Well, I read that and I was like, send a follow up email with this information if you weren't able to say it in the moment (laughs) like hey here's another answer to the question you asked me don't just not say it um right so this is not the first time that billy has criticized harry's vogue cover back in october 2021 he gave an interview to the sunday times and in that he said i changed the game now he said this wasn't his ego talking and that he was the first one doing it and now everybody is doing it But then in the interview with The Telegraph, he did acknowledge that there were people before his time, like David Bowie and the singer Sylvester, who also wore gender bending clothes. And they also helped pave the way for people like him. 
Yeah, he also said that he feels like the fashion industry only accepted him because they have to. And he said, I created the conversation, and yet Vogue still put Harry Styles, a straight white man, in a dress on their cover for the first time. Billy said he wasn't trying to drag Harry Styles, but he did call out Vogue for using him to, as he put it, represent this new conversation. And he said, Harry doesn't care. He's just doing it because it's the thing to do. This is politics for me. This is my life. I had to fight my entire life to get to a place where I could wear a dress to the Oscars and not be gunned down. All he has to do is be white and straight. And a month after this interview came out, Billy went on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, and he kind of backpedaled a little bit on his take on Harry. Harry Styles, I apologize to you for having your name in my mouth. It's not about you. The conversation is not about you, now, right? For, for the people who don't know, Harry Styles was the first man to appear on the on cover, the cover of, of Vogue. Vogue. In a dress. Right. And so the conversation is actually deeper than that. It is about the systems of oppression and erasure of people of color who contribute to the culture. I completely understand where he's coming from on this. I really do. Oh, absolutely. I mean, yeah. I mean, I think I I feel like what for me really stuck out is that he had to work his entire life to get to a place where he wouldn't get gunned down for what he's wearing. And I feel I like when it comes to these communities of oppressed voices, like unless who you are, what you look like, who you love is endangering your life, then I don't think you can take that space. Like, it's just one of those things where it's like yeah. Harry Styles is not going to ever live a life where he could be attacked. He could be called out just for, you know, his skin color. So it's just these kinds of mm -hmm. things. It's like I think it's really important to remember when we talk about like these spaces that need to be protected and need to be lifted up. Yeah. No, I agree with you for sure. Yeah. So, Brooke. Billy clearly has some very strong feelings about Vogue, Anna Winter, and Harry Styles. What do you think about <laughs> all of this? I mean, I love Billy Porter. I think, oh my God, he's just mm. so talented. And yeah, yeah. Harry Styles. Oh no. Listen, I know I said oh, this no. before. I'm sick of Harry Styles. <laughs> I'm over Harry Styles. Like, I get it. Like, you you can wear whatever you want. You can wear whatever you course, want. You can wear yeah. gender bending clothing. It doesn't matter about your sexual orientation. It doesn't you don't even matter. Have to but... wear clothes if you don't want to. Putting that oh out there. Oh my too. god! Here we go, Arisha. <laughs> you can't keep spreading this nude agenda. Um, but it is, and you know what? I know he's like it's not Harry's fault. It's the gatekeepers. But Harry also willingly chose to participate yeah. in this and be the first man on the cover wearing skirts and a dress. You know, it's like yeah. there's you know the yeah. show the other two on HBO Max. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I was at one of their parties a... the other night. No, this was like a couple oh. months ago. I love their house. Oh, God. I love that show. But they made a joke about Harry Styles because like one of the uh, main characters in the show is like trying to break out and he's a gay man and he's like signing on to this project and his mm -hmm. agent calls and she's like, Harry Styles has signed on to be your love interest. He really wants to play gay again. He thinks he can finally get it right this time. And I was like, <laughs> I just love the jokes about Harry Styles. Like, yeah. it's so funny. And I'm just honestly, I'm team Billy. I'm just Harry Styles needs to cool it you yeah know? okay okay I that's that's <laughs> interesting I feel like I do agree Harry needs to cool it like I feel like I'm imagining getting the call like Vogue being like hey we want to put you on the cover we're gonna just yeah. break the internet magazine style yeah. and he's like yeah right. yeah yeah I'm on board and I think this is one of the problems that like this is something that all people that have any kind of privilege need to do is like when you're given an opportunity like, make sure it's not taking it away from somebody who probably should have it. And I'm not talking about, like, yeah. you know, an up-and-coming accountant trying to get a new job. I'm talking about, like, your Harry Styles is an established musician, very successful. It's like, is yeah. this really a space where you should be right now? Um, yeah, is this a space you need to take up? And yeah, probably not. Yeah, you and know? I, I mean, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. I don't think he probably really thought about it and that's probably where it's not. like we should be thinking about these things like if you're in a position you know it's like to elevate voices and it's like okay the best way to do that is to let another face be there and be on that yeah. cover not you especially if 
I mean, again, we don't know what his orientation is, but especially if you're not being out about who you are, like you're not yeah. in danger of your life because you're gay. Billy Porter is at its core, yeah. which is another yeah. whole story. But right. So, yeah, I, I agree. I mean, I think that I was a little confused that this was coming out like three years later. But then I was like, you know what? This is still an issue. Like, it's not like it's been resolved. It's not like it's not. Right. Yeah. The magazine came out three years ago but look around this world absolutely still needs this kind of representation yeah and there are straight men like now wearing this kind of fashion yeah. on red carpets and yeah. you know billy did really pave the way for that being acceptable on red carpets at the met gala places like that so i yeah. understand it you yeah know? and you know what this is kind of giving me hope you know first it's gender bending clothes next it's no clothes I swear to God. And it's It's like, what are you wearing? Myself. (laughs) Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I don't hate that. I do like that. (laughs) From Wondery, I'm Arisha Skidmore Williams. And I'm Brooke Ziffrin. This is Rich and Daily. See you tomorrow, Richies. If you like our show, please follow us on Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, or wherever you're listening right now. Be sure to follow us on all socials at Arisha Skidmore Williams and at Brooke Ziffrin. We love to connect with you. 